Serious, if you could learn the truth of any one mystery, urban legend or conspiracy theory, what would you choose? The Yuba County 5. Five young mentally handicapped men went missing. They were gone for months without any clues other than a few mysterious phone calls saying not to look for them. Their vehicle was found up on a mountain road a few days after they went missing. It turned on and ran perfectly fine. They were finally found in a trailer deep in the mountains. The strange thing was the one full corpse that was found starved and froze to death when there was plenty of food, water and heat in the trailer to last all 5 boys a year. Some of the food had been eaten showing that they hadn't had a problem accessing the food. While they did have impairments, they were all independent and would have know how to turn on the heat and get food. Call for help. To add the mystery ref if man's body was never found and while the others were cognitively impaired he suffered from schizophrenia and had several disturbing incidents leading up to their disappearance. The full corpse that Cass found was wearing this man's shoes, but wasn't him. The corpse had been wearing boots the night they disappeared and it's believed that the man either stole them or talked the other young man into giving him his boots. What happens to the fifth man? Why did the man in the trailer starve to death surrounded by food? Why did the other men leave the trailer and die just 100 s of feet away from it when there was food and warmth so close? Why did they leave the car to begin with? Why didn't they follow the trail back to the road? What was before our universe? I probably wouldn't understand the answer though. When my grandmother was actively dying, she gasped and said Bill, my grandfather who had already passed, is here and he brought a black lady, then she died. All of us there were looking at each other like WTF. I'd like to know what dinosaurs really looked like. I'm not even super into dinosaurs but I've always wondered how close we are in our guesses. The Caravana Group, I think that's the name. Basically a group of 7 hikers start hiking the mountains when 6 of them start bleeding from the eyes, ears, nose and mouth. They all scream. Start seizing. One even starts bashing their head on a rock. The remaining survivor flees, but later comes back to the bodies to get supplies. She's found a few days later but refused to talk about it. A lot of people say it's a deadly nerve agent that Russia was using. This happened in Siberia, I think. But that doesn't explain why the last one survived, even going back and still being unaffected. I want to know everything about the sea. I mean, it's so big. Who knows what new things could be there. A man only a year older than me went missing in my town, right near my place of work a few years ago. He just disappeared. I remember seeing the missing posters and the police conducting searches. It has been several years and he is still listed as missing. I think about him from time to time and wonder whatever happened to him. I'd want to know about him. There are so many cases like his. I hope his family and the other families one day get answers. Who wrote the Voynich manuscript and why? And why was it written encoded or in an unknown language? I like learning about weird mysteries in history and this is one that remains unsolved to this day despite quite extensive research through the centuries. Where's all the missing indigenous women from the highway of Tez and other areas? Somebody must ducking know. Where are the aliens tell me? I want either know what happened to MH370 or DB. Cooper. I want to know what's in the basement. Erwin Smith. Personally I wanna know what the Catholic Church is hiding in their giant underground library. Harold Holt, Australian Prime Minister in the 1960s, disappeared while swimming at the beach. He was never found. I wanna know if they kept going at it with the MK Ultra thing and how they do it now if it is. I gotta go with the first ever unsolved mystery that really made me think. Mystery of the Summerton Man. In the 1948 a guy was found dead on a beach in Adelaide, Australia. He was never identified and months after finding his body they found a fake pocket in his pants. It was torn from a copy of the book Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. I googled that and had a phrase on it which said Tamam Shad which means ended or finished in Persian. They found the book that it came from but the owner denied ever knowing the guy. There was an encrypted message in the book that they found and it still hasn't been cracked. Apparently there's been a development recently that might identify him as HC. Reynolds but it's not 100% certain. It's super interesting. Edit. 
thank you to you young old soul who has informed me that Tamam shot actually means it's over instead of finished or ended. Lord, you said one. And there's so many that I wonder about. Did the British intentionally let the Germans sink the Lusitania to bring the US into World War 1? Did FDR have advance warning of Pearl Harbor, but did nothing? What really happened to Hitler's remains after he killed himself? What really happened to the Edmund Fitzgerald to cause her to sink? What caused the Moorgate crash? But probably above all else, the one I always wonder about. What happened to that kid I witnessed being kidnapped when I was 7? And my parents forbade me from talking to the police about? The extent of Jeffrey Epstein's network of pedophiles. My grandfather, one day, just walked out the door and never came back. This was before I was born. I'm 27. He left behind my grandmother and his three children. There was a statewide search. My mom's family never got closure. Although, me thinks he might have had another family that he ran away to. But it still baffles me sometimes at night. My grandmother finally held a pseudo funeral memorial for him last year. Edit. Wow. I did not think this would get so much traction. I appreciate everyone for chiming in. Thank you for the silver, kind stranger, and everyone for your interaction. So many rabbit holes to go down. What did they find in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947? Who killed John Bennett Ramsey? Who was the Zodiac killer? What happened to Walter Collins? Who killed the Black Dahlia? Where or what happened to Flight 370? And these are just the top of my head. If I had a chance to sit and think, I'd have a lot more. What deep sea creatures exist that we haven't found yet? Just how big is the largest squid out there? I wanna know what happened to Louis Leprince, the true inventor of the film camera. Boarded a train but never left it. Nobody found. The Panama Papers. Loads of wealthy people involved and murders attached to it also. Is there treasure on Oak Island? Where is the nearest alien civilization? Jennifer Fegert Fergert. It's a fascinating mystery. A woman checks into the Oslo Plaza Hotel, a five-star establishment, and is found dead in her room three days later, initially assumed to have committed a suicide. But there's no blood on her hands, no gunshot residue, no fingerprints on the bullets and the gun or the gun itself. Which in addition to the odd position in which she is found on her bed really starts looking more like homicide. Additionally, no personal belongings in the room besides clothes, shoes, a travel bag and an attach registered sign full of bullets. Clothes and shoes have all producer labels designations removed as well. Contents of her stomach indicate that she had died the day before she was found. But a member of staff who knocked on her door heard a gunshot go off right after that, indicating someone's presence inside. The door was also locked from the inside but no one was there when they got in. Probably my favorite true crime thing. The JFK assassination. I had just planned my first date with a friend of a friend. He had recently come out to his friends. And and we'd been friends for months. Mostly talking online since he was away often for his job. We went to an anime convention together. And he had already come out to me there. He gave the best hugs. We planned to go rock hunting on the mountain. Then going to the local gem and mineral show a few days later. This was around the 4th of July, when he didn't show up for the mountain trip. We figured he was stuck at work. He didn't have cell service, and usually didn't get a chance to talk online until his long shifts were over. It was normal to not hear from him for over a week. Two days later, and a day before the gem and mineral show, I get a call from the friend that introduced us. She tells me he died. Apparently, he'd been dead for an entire week, because of his job. None of us thought he was missing any more than usual. We got together with all of the friend group to learn the details. They were in an excruciating order from which I'll spare anyone reading this. He had shot himself, and was found a day later in a field heading out of town. He wasn't identified for over a week, since he didn't have any identifying information on him or in his car. He also was unrecognizable. The gun was his father's. But his father lived in a different state and doesn't know how he got it. His mom recently told him to take some old antidepressants because work was making him feel empty inside. He was not out to his parents or co-workers. He was dating my best friend's sister. 
he received a call while at work. His co-worker said he grew immediately pale and rushed out from work saying he had to leave. None of this was remotely what the person I talked to online talked about. We had one date before all this where he made me dinner. Seeing him in person was rare. He didn't leave a note. His family didn't know who he was. Essentially, their description of him was not accurate of the man I knew. My friends agreed. The friend who introduced us didn't go. There are so many unanswered questions in this mystery that makes closure almost impossible for me. Who called him? What was it about? His parents loved him, but didn't know the real him. I'm so lost. Where the duck my dad went. The second is the cure to cancer. Whether or not there is anything after death. Assuming he died, are we allowed to learn two truths about one mystery? Where did most of DB Cooper's ransom money end up after he jumped from that airplane? I believe the FBI lets you keep it if you find it. As long as you give them a chance to analyze it for latent prints DNA first. Those bills must be worth a fortune to a collector. Even if they aren't. I'll still get tens of thousands of dollars in cash. Who doesn't want that? So. I get my name in the papers for finding Cooper's money. And I get a nice chunk of change to keep. A double whammy of good fortune. That's tough. Jack the Ripper and Andrew Gosden interest me. But I'd pick the Atlas Vampire. Steven Paddock. The Las Vegas Attack. I've always believed there's more to that story. The True Age of the Sphinx. And its original look. What reason reason Stonehenge was built for? The truth from when my gran died in the weeks leading up to it. She died on the 6th of December. She cancelled her life insurance just days before her death. Wrapped every single present for the whole family and name tagged them. Over 30 family members. When she usually wrapped them on Christmas Eve. She worked in a small gift shop along with the owner both of them died within 3 hours of each other. Has puzzled me for years and hopefully some truth comes out before I pass away. The truth about extraterrestrial and maybe even interdimensional life. There's no way we are alone in a universe that is basically infinite. I would want to learn the truth around the Mothman and what people were seeing in the days leading up to the bridge collapse. Atlantis. I would like to know everything about Atlantis. Where it was. What it was and most importantly what happened to it. The Zodiac. I find it very interesting. And I want to know who they were. Not sure if this counts. But I really want a family tree of all living creatures from the beginning of life to now. From the first life form to every human being alive right now. It would be too large to print it. Maybe a very large PNG file in a godlike flash drive with infinite storage. What happened to Roanoke Colony? Do any gods goddesses exist? What happens when you die? Can I choose for someone other than myself to find out the truth? I'd like for my wife to find out whether or not global elites including Nancy Pelosi and Tom Hanks and the Illuminati are really kidnapping and eating children so we can finally give it a ducking rest please. Multiverses and doppelgangers. Why did Trump run in 2016? Was he really not expecting to win? Did he really say I'm ducked when he did? Madeline McCann. The curse of Oak Island so my husband will stop watching it. The Zodiac Killer. Not just his identity, his psychology, his motives, his planning, his affiliations. I want every detail of that it. Sasquatch. I need proof. Confirm my greatest fears. Where is the Ark of the Covenant? Where is the treasure of the Knights Templar? Are we in a simulation? Or rather, am I in a simulation? Anybody remember that post about the glitter? Something about like 90% of glitter produced by the largest glitter producer is used for something extremely secret and you would never guess what it is. Edit. Original. Our unresolved mystery is post. Whether or not Danny Casolero really committed suicide or was murdered for his investigation into the octopus. Who is Q? Cause someone needs to shut him up for good. There is this famous case in France where a bourgeois family was killed. Except the father who disappeared. He is of course the prime suspect. 
as the events they have reconstructed suggest he got the oldest son back home himself to kill him after the other family members has already been murdered. He buried them all under the terrace and they weren't found right away, so he got a head start so to say. It's been years and no one knows what happened to him. There have been plenty of sightings all over the country, but he looks very average and forgettable. A few years back, they thought they got him on a flight in from Scotland and didn't show his picture until a few days later. And everyone who knows about the case wondered WTF was the police thinking. Because the man who was arrested looks nothing like him. Anyway, I'd like to know what happened to him and if he really did it. I have little doubt he did. But he went to such length to cover his tracks. Sending letters to family members saying he and his family were relocating under witness protection in the US. Or suggesting he was involved in a big case and couldn't disclose his location etc. Some people even believed the people buried in his yard were not his real family but morgue corpses with elements of DNA to link it to the family so they could escape fake their death. Netflix did an episode on it in their remastered and solved mysteries, season 1. If you want to know more about the case, it's really interesting. What really happened to Hitler and where he was buried? I'd say the mystery of the afterlife. Is there one? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Well I would if this came true. I want to know where Andrew Gosden is. Some animals can't see color cause they don't have the right organs for it. What are all of the aspects of life we're missing out on cause we don't have the organs to perceive them? What are the 11 herbs and spices in the KFC recipe? The true original case of COVID-19. I think it's further back than currently believed. Would like to know how much truth there is to everything Bob Lazar has stated over the years. I'd love to know what happened to the Bowman children. Parallel universes and whether dark matter is the key to unlocking it or not. I'm very curious why anything exists at all. How does something come from nothing or how would it somehow always exist? How does experience manifest out of that? Jimmy Hoffa disappearance. I just want to know what happened to Brian Schaffer. I'm a teacher and I teach in Asia. I often have trouble getting students to speak because they are so shy. When I did the unit on unsolved mysteries, the students were so excited to speak about what they thought happened to each person it was amazing. They tried so hard and really worked at it. The Max Headroom Signal 1987. I want to know. Natalie Wood. I don't think RJ killed her. But I think he dismissed her screams and got to her body too late and then covered it up. No one believes that no one looked for her till next morning. What happened to Madeline McCann? Is she still alive? What is with the Ellie Salam video? How did she end up in the water tank? What happened in the Diatlov passage? What happened to Jeff? Did he go to prison? Or did he quit drugs and started a new life? Is was there ever a Loch Ness monster? What was recorded in the Great Library of Alexandria before the Romans came along? In Poland there's a village called Zamiozo Bad Meat. And the name from the village comes because there's a legend that once in the village they noticed clients wouldn't return home. It turned out the owner would kill. Rob AMD then turned the clients to meat. Call me a heretic but I'd like to know what actually happened on 9 stroke 11. I don't have any theories. But I have lots of questions that haven't adequately been answered. I would love to know what happened to John Bennett Ramsey. I choose mystery. Why is the male G-spot in the rectum? I would want to be there when prophets receive messages from God to see if it really happened. It didn't happen and those people were just a bit off. How they look like. I am atheist but grew in a catholic family. So I do think that some of those people existed historically. Studied religion history. I'm not so sure about the God part. The one mystery I would choose to learn the truth about would be the fundamental laws of physics. If we could understand that. Well. I can't even imagine what it would be like to have a complete and utterly true account of the laws of physics. It would transform humanity's place in the universe. It is actually truly difficult to imagine the consequences of solving that mystery. 